hello friends welcome back to our 14 developments last video we checked how we can generate a pdf report in Odoo. and now in this video we are going to look how we can set a dashboard for application and Odoo. okay it's a simple dashboard so uh, let's get into our open academy module okay so we have different the kind of data here then we have created different kind of views so in our open academy we have sessions and we have calendar view client view graph view many things so why we can uh i don't we can just create a uh, dashboard using these uh, views so that's what we are going to do okay so let's go to our open academy so this dashboard uh, is we are creating under our board application the dashboard application so first we have to uh, add the dashboard module in our depends the technical name of that uh, module is board so we have added this here then we need uh, a file that we can define the board view okay board view the action that we can uh, that will open that view and we need to define a menu for that all the things so uh, let's create that so we have i have already uh, added that uh, under the views directory so session board so here you can see that uh, just like a normal xml file we have different records here so this action session graph so this is the uh, action to open the view and uh, different actions that you can see attendees by count it will open the open academy sessions in in the graph mode okay so this is the graph mode then the ir dot action another action to open the sessions in calendar mode and this is the next action for opening this um, open academy course subjects in tree and form uh, type of views okay in uh, that mode and this is our board view you can see the model board dot model we are adding an element to that we are defining a view for that uh, that model board dot model okay ir dot ui view session dashboard form and it's a type form and then the architecture just like a normal form view and the uh, form tag is here you can see and we have given the string for that form and then the board so this is the base element of that board concept well, you can have different styles uh, styles can be one 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 iphone one or one iphone two and two i from one and one 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 or just a different shapes uh, different uh, arrangements you will get so you can try different uh, combination there and then the column you can see you can see the action is given here string attendees by count name you can see under this uh, inside this back pin, um, bracket we have given the action session graph the first graph action that we have defined here you see action session graph the same thing same thing is given here action session graph then uh, it will have the session action session calendar so in a single column we will have the graph view and the calendar view next column we will have the list view okay so this one 
is given here act post list so that's all that's all we need okay then we will close the column then the import form view and everything then the entire the code is closed then we need an action to open this code.board object okay so this code.board object and we have given an action and an id and the session dashboard is the name and the usage menu and the view id is given board session form this is the view board session form you can see this is the view and then we have given the menu item so here the name of the menu item is session dashboard and the parent is base dot menu reporting dashboard so uh, you have to note this okay so this is uh, the menu will come under the menu reporting dashboard so it's a, it comes in the base menu uh, sorry base module then the action is given open board session so this is the action that we have defined here open board session is given here sequence is one then id is menu board session the name id of this menu item so we have the session board dot xml file we have to mention that here inside our manifest data session section so let's come center the view directory so let's session board then let's just start this let's go to the apps click the open cad module and click on update yeah so the dashboard module is installed let's click on that you see so inside the dashboard we have the attendees by post the the graph view as we given then uh, on the same column we have the calendar view and the next column we have the tree view so when i click on this thing we will have the form view okay so you can change the layout i said uh, we have different layouts we currently use two one layout so this is the one this is the one one this is the one 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 this is one two and this is two one so you can change the layout uh, by default it will come um, as we given in the code so in our case we have given it as uh, two one so that's why it can by default in that style so if i change that into one two so it will not suit with the uh, existing definition that's why the error is coming so that's how uh, you can create different dashboards if you have enough access there so urban academy this is the sessions and this is the same graph that you see there right so same dashboard so same uh, content that we are getting there also so i hope you understand how we can set up a small dashboard for your module under the dashboard app thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet to get the updates that's going to be released soon so uh thanks for once again